Right, guys, welcome back again. Welcome back to Martin Devs. And today's video, I am going to show you guys about cores and how to enable cores. Let me uh, explain to you guys. So I have an application here that I did as the back end. I have a register and a login, and this is uh, using ASP.NET Core uh, 7.0. Uh, if you guys want to watch the video, how to put it together, you guys are uh, able to do it. All you got to do is go back over here, and it's, it tells you here how to do it. Uh, I did this one with .NET 5, but you can actually uh, upgrade it to .NET 7. So if you watch the tutorial here, you should be able to should be able to get to this part here. So uh, I have a login, a register. So I also have members. Uh, let me show you what I mean by that. So I can get all the members. Go ahead and execute this. So all the, yeah, I got members. So I'm gonna use this one here and I, uh, I'm i gonna use the password that I set it up to. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in. I'm gonna go ahead and log in, try it out. So I'm gonna use the name Lisa to log in. The password. And I'll go ahead and execute it. So, this is the backend. So it gave me a 200. That means it connected, gave me a token, everything. So this is the backend. I am going to try to connect it to the front end. So, but in order to do to do that, you have to enable the course. But anyway, so um, let me grab this here. Okay, so here in Microsoft, it says, uh, in order to enable the course, it talks about uh, browser security prevents from a web page from making requests from a different domain. So so the backend is a different, and it's 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 in a different domain. So it's it's a protection, it's a protection or restriction front. So this rest, the restriction is called same origin policy. So and it gives you, if you read the whole article here, it actually tells you how to. It gives you examples how to put it together. So the Microsoft team they did a good job, you know, putting it together. So you can find that in Microsoft how to, you know, like read more about it. But um, Enough with the reading. So let me show you. Let me demonstrate how to do it. So uh, first, let me show you the error the error that you will get, and then uh, I'm going to show you guys how to fix that for that error. Okay. So here is my application. Uh, this is uh, Ionic, and I select the Angular. So what I'm trying to do here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to try to log in with the same password and the username. So I am getting this here, uh, this XML HTTP request, and it says it has been, uh, this one is running on local 4200, and it has been blocked because of the course policy. So in order to fix this issue here, we have to go into the uh, into the application, the, the backend, and here on the backend, over here, we, we're going to actually um, Put the policy here and we're going to fix that right now i'm going to show you guys so here we're going to do is we're going to put in app and then we're going to use use course like that and then we're going to use i'm going to type in builder and we're going to do that type build there and it's going to be and then if you that's what i like about uh, asp.net core it kind of tells you see it tells you it kind of gives you a little hint so the, what I'm going to do is we're going to put down, uh, the first one we're going to do is we're going to put down allow allow any headers. The next one we're going to do is going to be allow any methods like that. And, uh, and the most important one is going to be, we're going to put down with origins, which is this one. And here inside there, uh, we're going to grab and we're going to put down the HTTPS uh, and it's going to be localhost. Um, the one I'm running this one for the uh, Angular, the I Ionic uh, application is actually on the 4200. So uh, let me go back over here. Oh, no, uh, right here. So I'm going to put down 4200 like that. And uh, let me put that. Oh, and also, too, uh, you have to. Uh, here, hold on. I have a folder. I have separated my application nicely. So you also have to declare here where it says, uh, let me go here. It says extensions. Uh, no, not that one. 
uh, here. So say you have to also add it up to the services and you got to uh, put down add course. So then once you do all of that, then what you want to do is you want to build the application again. So I'm going to do control F5 and this is going to build the application. Okay. So then once it builds out the application, I'm going to go back to the front end, which is this one is, this is the front end is running in a, a local host 4200. And the back end is actually running, is running, oh, hold on. Is running on the local host 7, 7053. So it's two different, it's two different websites, two different domain names. Uh, so it's two different ones. So that's why, um, it's blocking the course. Okay. So I'm going to do it again. I'm going to try to refresh this page. And I'm going to try to log in again. So I'm going to use, again, Lisa. I'm going to go ahead and log in. And if it goes through. Uh, okay, it didn't work. Let me make sure. It might be because I did not read. Let me see. Did I build? Yeah. You know what? It's still building. That's what it is. It has to build. Sometimes it takes, sometimes the, my computer, I have to do it sometimes twice. I noticed that. Okay, I have rebuilt application again. And I'm going to go ahead and try to log in again. All right, one more time. So I'm going to use the same. All right, cool. So I'm able to log in. See, it says, welcome back and I can log out. So yeah, so it's working. So that's how you enable the course. So again, again guys, we use uh, two different, if you're trying to use the backend, uh, trying to write all your APIs and you want to communicate to a front end application, it could be either React, Angular, uh, and I'm doing this one, um, you know, communicate, you have to enable the course. But all right guys, so this was a short video. Don't forget to check out my channel. And stay tuned for more, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Take care, guys.